Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another internet adventure. I'm your host, Stephen Sondheim. Mm -hmm, no, that's not who I am. And uh, we are going to do another cast draft here on Magic the Gathering. Please open a talent trooper. <laughs> oh, God. I don't even understand what the talent trooper meme is anymore. With Which one floats? Like, I don't even understand it. His name is Police Cop. Bird Hawk. Bird Hawk. Cop. Cop Hawk. Police Hawk. Police Hawk? Was that his name? I forgot. God, I forgot his name. This is not good. Police Hawk, why you do this? You hear that cat? You're meant to be doing our fancy intro talk? Was I not? I thought I was doing that though. <laughs> Worst mod, it's you. Wow, that's rough. That's brutal. Oh, there's like a million cool mod commands, right? Seven out of eight. Come on, let's let's do it. My mod origin story? Oh my god. Hold on, I'm going back. I'm going back. Frank never gave me a sword. I modded myself while he was sleeping on my couch and he hasn't noticed. I actually am like, is that true? Did that really happen? I'm pretty sure that didn't happen. I'm pretty sure I hundred percent modded you. But I'm really second guessing it now. I'm like, was there a time where like I was logged in on your couch? And then you modded yourself? Is that a thing that could have happened? I don't think so, right? Ooh, we got an Alara Reborn pack for the first one. Of course, Cloven casting, not very good. It's basically an eight mana, a seven mana red enchantment. Whenever you cast a multicolor instant or sorcery, you pay one if you do copy it. Yeah, that's a... Uh... No, <laughs> no, not even you. That's true, if I can't recall when it actually happened, then I don't know when it actually happened. Wow, that's... A little disturbing. <clears throat> I like Cathari Bomber. I also like Brain Bite. It's literally, it is, it actually is possible to, um, it's funny because we opened an Alara Reborn pack and there was no Talent Trooper. We could have actually opened a Talent Trooper. I'm, I'm pretty much on Brain Bite, Bomber, or Bant Sure Blade. I think I'm going to go with Bomber. I think Bomber is pretty sweet. Tap an untapped ally you control. And this, so it can't tap itself. Discard a card if you draw a card, so you're just looting. Brute Strength is okay. Flaying Tendrils is pretty interesting. What are the odds of us ever like how much how much colorless mana are we actually gonna have in this draft? Lead by example, cards like lead by example, the the uh, all the support two cards are very, very good. I hate that we start with a black I hate that we started with a black red card, but on the same hand, like we didn't have any option because we opened a an Alara Reborn pack. So all the cards are gonna be gold. You're gonna be locked into a two color card. I'm going to take Flaying Tendrils. I think it's the strongest card without any, any real direction, so. <laughs> I did not I did not admit to liking Tron as a deck. All right, this is a 1-1 one, one fear, dude. Whenever it attacks and isn't blocked, defending player gets a poison counter. It's actually not the worst. 
Riverboat is pretty gas. This is just a this is just a pile. This is just literal shit. This is just a shit pile. Not not even the card quality. I'm just talking about the the actual art and the the creature itself. Enters tap, so enters the battlefield sacrifice unless you return on tap four. So this is just a Karoo. It's not terrible. This pack's kind of a meh. I'm just gonna take the Sakata Assassin, I guess. I I don't think it's great, but like none of these cards are actually that great here. It's a, it's it's visions. Put a one one counter on a creature for three mana, or for three life. That's actually that's actually pretty insane, right? Is that really good? I don't think I've ever seen this card before, the art or otherwise. You think that Mirage is bad for limited? I would never say that. <sighs> Torn of Fire deals damage equal to any target with a high score of mana cost among permanents you control. That's a lot. This guy's also very, very good. Is this card good? You guys, do you guys really like Pillar? Like, I feel like it's not that great. Oh, I like Reckless Worm a lot. Oh, Olivia's Dragoon, also good, but I'd rather be Reckless Worming. Anger is pretty sweet. Squee is pretty sweet. This card is this pack is great. If any of these cards come back for us, I'll be really excited. I'm pretty sure Reckless Worm is where is where we want to be though. I mean four forward with the trample is just pretty good. Switch target creature power and toughness until end of turn. Sleeper's Guile. Three mana enchanted creature has fear when it's put into the graveyard to turn it. Okay, that's actually not terrible. Flash and pro white. That actually seems pretty good. It's, tax, it's a 4-5 for 4, but it's really a 4-5 for 8. This was Iconic Masters, I believe. If anyone uh, wants to correct me, feel free, because I don't know. I don't know how sets work. Hi, Shannon from Race Interior is here. We all know that when you... Oh, that's from a Ikea video that I had up. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take the Defender of Chaos. Oh, I like Blightspeaker. Do we have any Rebels yet? Human Assassin, Human Knight, Bird Shaman, Zombie Mutant. No, not yet. Tribal Flames, probably not going to... It's probably just going to be a shock in our deck, but maybe that's okay. I think Blightspeaker is probably just better. If we can just randomly get a Cleric, or a Rebel, rather, it's pretty decent. Don't care about you. Don't care about you. Don't care about you. 3-3 three, three for <laughs> Rebel Dot deck is right. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get there. It'll happen. This is a big boy, but God, six mana. I almost, I almost kind of like lava axe here. I'm gonna take the lava axe. We're gonna be axing some questions. Uh, well, that came back. Can't cast that. Three, two for four. When it enters the battlefield, target player loses a card at random. It loses. Yeah, that's not terrible. Whatever. It's like the only card we'd actually play in this pack. Wow, all the red cards came back. That's interesting. Bird strength is nice because of the trample. We have no other allies, so I'm not really interested in these guys alleys and rebels are not the same as you may know That's, yeah, that's really true. Lava Axe never... Wait, additional... Okay, sack a creature. Target creature is plus four, plus two. That doesn't seem great. Three, three. Regenerate it and put a counter. Like, all these creatures are like, hey. All these cards are like, this ability is really cool. But you're going to pay a real high price for it. Whatever. 
Oh, wow. Pyrostatic Pillar came back. No respect. No respect. This also two mana. I thought this was three because I'm thinking, Sulf I'm thinking Sulfuric Vortex. Plus three plus... Oh, it's just Reckless Charge. I'm reading. In Inga Chewer is actually probably nice. We can actually use that, I'm sure. Depending on how aggressive we are, like we could, I could see playing this. Amplifier. Oh, look, the new set. This set does have Rakdos in it, which is kind of nice. Unfortunately, none of these cards are great. Blade Juggler is actually pretty sweet. Hmm. All right. Maybe it's just Blade Juggler. I think Mike is back, by the way. So uh, I'll try to wait a little bit. Yeah, Clamor Shaman seems all right as well. I don't think we're aggressive enough to play Clamor Shaman. I think I'd just rather have the consistency of a Blade Juggler. Like, we're not, like, playing, like, really aggressive creatures here. We have, like, no two drops except for Blightspeaker. What up, my dude? What'd you get? Did you get a banana in there? No. Well, that's messed up, man. I'm gonna take this Blade Juggler. Avacyn's Judgment. Okay, two mana. It deals two damage and divided into enemy target creatures. And then you can just madness it for like a million. That's very good. We also have Gyre Reach Bandit, which is a 3-2 with haste. At the beginning of each upkeep, it flips. Um, at the beginning of each... Oh, it's just literally a 4-3. And then like whenever a werewolf enters the battlefield, you can transform it. It's not, it's not, I mean, it's not. It's fine. It's a 3-2 for 3 with haste, and then it becomes a 4-3. Uh, this guy's not impressive. I'm pretty sure it's just Avacyn's Judgment, and we just look for... Call the Bloodline is actually nuts, though. Was it really that good? Discard a creature to make a 1 1? Yeah. It gives you a discard out and then, like, 1 1 lifelinkers for days. Oh, uh, we've been up for more than an hour. Like, we actually went down. I'm going to take the Judgment because it's really insane, but I'm really hoping the Call the Bloodline comes back. I doubt it will, but. As it cost to cast this, discard X cards, search library for X cards, then shuffle your library and put those cards on top. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, know you lost me there. Pretty good commander card. 4-4 four, for four, 7. Flip a coin until you lose, put a 1-1 counter for each flip you won. It's actually not bad for a red creature. This is a good commander card? Yeah. You discard like 3 cards and then just put 3 on top? Yeah. Interesting. Neg 2, neg 2. Yeah, that's where you want to be. That's fantastic. Uh, four damage target creature. If seven or more, it deals four damage to that creature and that creature's controller. For still seven mana, like, at sorcery speed, get out of here. Get out of here. Got a little ice caramel marchiato. Have we got any more rebels? Were there, were there rebels in that pack? An ice caramel macchiato? Yeah. Flash, enchant creature, plus two, plus two attacks each turn. It's not bad. I'm just going to take assassinate, though. It's the drink where you have to mix it yourself. Mm. I like Lightning Blast. Four damage to any target? That's a good deal. Deals two damage to each white creature and each player who controls a white creature. That's racist. That is quite racist. Phyrexian, Phyrexian Colossus. Colossus is actually huge. Do we have a way to untap Phyrexian Colossus? Probably Colossus not. is huge. That is that does feel like a late. I'm just gonna take the lightning blast. I don't want to mess around with nonsense. Oh, thunderbolt! Three damage to a player, four damage to a flyer. It's good enough for me. Ten, I'm hangry bits. <laughs> well, Mike, why are you shimmering? Are you why shimmering? Am I shimmering? I don't know. I don't know what that means. Molten rain. Uh, there are currently no bananas in this coffee. No, he has no bananas. I'm just gonna take this mud button. This mud, mud button. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Wait, he was waiting for it. Um, 
Hey, look, it's the best ally ever printed. Oh, there are some allies in this pack that we can take. Well, there's one. This one? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, man. Buffs your team and they get hasty. I, I think it's real good. It's good in the ally, in the limited ally, or the modern ally deck. I, I'm tempted to just take it because we have Blightspeaker. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if that player has no cards and has two or more quest counters, you have that player lose five. Who cares about that? Whatever, I'm just going to take this. There's nothing else that's really good here. Quag Vampires is fine, but I don't really care about it. Oh, I was hoping the Roost About or the Hello, Recluse would come back. You're a doggo. Hmm. I wonder if they can hear that cat. Oh, it does need to be a rebel. Why did I think it ally? God, Mike said ally, and I was like, oh, ally is cool. Dang it. It's not a. Yeah, it has nothing to do with allies. It's a rebel card. Didn't we have another ally, though? There's a lot going on when you stream. Streaming is hard, guys. Make no mistake. Man, this, uh, this Rakdos deck is really coming together. I think it's all right. It's funny because this is technically a three drop if we can discard it. This is technically a three drop if we can spectacle it. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, uh, this guy's actually fine. A six five, man. a five four that turns into a six five with menace. That's hard to deal with it. That's hard to deal with it. Hmm. That's hard to deal. With. I also like tormenting voice though. It does give us an outlet to <clears throat> discard the reckless worm. I'm gonna take the tormenting voice. Crazed Firecat. Sacrifice this guy. Target black creature. Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. Gain first strike. You have to sacrifice this for that? This is also a disc. Putrid is also a discard outlet. That's pretty interesting. Hmm. Doesn't he get hmm. flying eventually? Yeah, if you have uh, Threshold. No, the discard gives it flying. Hmm. Oh, the uncontrolled anger is actually pretty good. What does that even do? Plus two, plus two, uh, and flash. The creature has to attack each turn, but it's a really nice trick that just sticks around for the next turn. Look at this art. Oh my god. Look at this flight art. Hold on. It's going to be amazing. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> it's so bad, dude. No offense to the artist, seriously, but... Where'd that preview paint at? Oh my god. Look at this flight art, guys. <laughs> wow. Man, this is the <laughs> it's the most basic art I've ever seen. It's so bad, dude. <laughs> oh, look at it! It's like it's the the cheese factor is like through the roof, man. <laughs> also, there's proportions. Oh, that's really significant. Off. And then I like accidentally hover over this, and I'm like, oh, that's good. Of course, Darken is great. Oh, God, I can't, dude. Oh! Hey. That's a good boy. Hopefully this Heart Stabber Mosquito comes back. That or guy's insane. Or even the Plated Geopede would be fine, or the Blood Gas. There's a lot of things to come back for us here. Inferno's Wrap's also not bad. Four damage to a creature for four. <coughs> yeah, this pack is actually really nice. I'm going to take this uh, Vampire Nighthawk, though, because... It's the best card in Zendikar. It's the best card in Limited. Hmm. I actually don't mind Dire... Death Touch, what else? Uh, It's a 2-2 two -two for, for, for two. And when it enters the battlefield, target attacking pirate you control gets plus one, plus one, and gains death touch. So, eh, it's actually... This is a pretty good trick still. I didn't think it was an attacking pirate. I thought it can give itself just like... It's not, though, because you don't have you have to have another pirate. No, it has death touch itself. That's true, I guess. You can just block. You surprise the guy, yeah. I don't hate shake the foundation. One damage to each creature without flying, and then you draw a card. Meh. It's gonna wipe, this is going to wipe some boards, man. I'd rather the 2-2. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? yeah. Really? Oh, I forgot we had Avacyn's Judgment, which makes the, like, Putrid Imp even better. Yeah, that's insane. Um, I do kind of like, I do kind of want to have more 2-2s because we do have uh, Blade Juggler. Oh my god, really? Can't be blocked separately. Cards and cards in graveyards can't be the target spell their abilities when dies, exile, and each other play their graveyard in your hand. Oh, hmm. It's also a five mana six, six. Yeah, it's a five mana six six that can't be blocked by more than three creatures, or by by three. But can't be blocked except by three or more creatures. Yeah, that card's great, dude. What a good boys. <laughs> eight eight for for four. When it enters the battlefield, each opponent may search the library for a creature card and put it onto the battlefield. And each player search shuffles it. Okay, so. But can it ever be an eight eight trample? Yeah, it could probably be like Shriek Maw and they kill it. 
That's true. Just search for more art from Bradley, and it looks like flight was an off day. Really? What else is Bradley Williams? Can you link that? Because I don't really feel like I don't like I don't want to go off to the side and do that. Neg one for each permanent of the chosen type, so I could be like, uh, um, molten rain doesn't belong in the main deck. What? I'm not gonna molten rain. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Destroys the land, dog. You ain't gonna. Yeah, and you're cutting lava reach claw. Lava reach claw. Lava, the thing that's five damage. <laughs> lava axe. Lava there claw reaches. Go. Yeah, you nailed it. What does this do? Uh, plus one, plus one for each attacking creature. Whenever. It, uh, yeah. Okay. We're just gonna take shard ball here. Hey, there's a link for us. Let's see what Bradley boy got. Okay, let's see it. Oh yeah, this looks much different. Like Airborne Aid. Chameleon Spirit. Yeah, his art's significantly better than this flight would, would represent. That's so weird. None of this, none of his other stuff looks anything like Flight. Even Grafted Skullcap was also from 7th edition. Looks nothing like Flight. Yeah, that's actually really good. That's really weird. Does he have any recent cards? None of these cards are any good. I'll take this Baku. Baku! What does this even do? Whenever a spirit, yeah, you put a counter on it. Uh, it's actually, it's not terrible, but we don't. The odds of us having any spirits or anything. Uh, discard a card. Creature gets plus one, negative one, and gains haste. Grape shot. I don't hate a grape shot. <laughs> he forgot. He's like, oh god, I gotta rush this. Shit, they need a they need a flight commission. I'll take grape shot. But will grape shot take you? I don't know, man. Every day, I hope. Pack sucks. <laughs> what is Tablet of the Guild? It enters, choose two colors. You can choose red and black. Whenever you cast a spell, if it's at least one of the chosen colors, you gain a life for each of the chosen colors. Okay. Ooh, Shadow of Doubt. That's a fun card. <laughs> they crack, crack their... Fetch, no. No, don't do it. Whatever, I'm just gonna take it. Uh, deals damage equal number of attacking creatures you can. Actually, that's dog pile's probably better. All right, so we got a Highland Berserker back, which is fine. Hmm. Or a three-three cell sword. Or actually, just Inferno Trap, right? It's just four damage. Yeah, it's just Inferno Trap. This is target player loses five life and you gain five life. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Inferno Trap. We don't care about allies, though. We care about um, rebels. 3 4 for 4? Yeah, it's whatever. Eh. 2 4 for 4? Eh. Bradley Williams did the art for False Cure. Best Legacy deck. Don't at me. No one's going to no one's gonna at you on that one. I don't know what False Cure is. You don't know what False Cure is? Nope. Is that a legacy deck though? Um, there is a false cure legacy deck. It's weird because I've never seen it. Whether it is a legacy deck, quote unquote, is uh is up for debate. Wow, like we drafted almost all red black cards except for like the flight and the thalad. Ba boom 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 ba boom boom boom. What is this guy? When this guy dies, each player sacrifices land. We can play that. We can play Molten Rain. We can play the Mana Denial deck. I don't know why you ain't playing Molten Rain. Just, like, I don't... Just destroying him. lands is good. <laughs> We're like an aggro deck. We want to destroy lands. Do we? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Alright. Playable. 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 I don't know if this guy's great. 3-2 for 4... When it enters the battlefield, target player reveals a card at random from their hand, then loses like who that card's mana cost. Could just nug them for like seven. Could also hit them for zero. Um, playable. These are these are in the maybe pile. Definitely playable. Definitely playable. 
you're 100 percent you're good and what about great yeah it, it usually kills things that are way higher than it nighthawk is great um one one fear when it attacks and isn't blocked defending player gets a poison counter I'd cut that. It doesn't have infect, right? So you're not going right. to be able to like pump it and deal ten. Flaying tendrils is probably going to kill a lot of our creatures. I think we board that in. These two are great. Tormenting voice is great. Discard outlets. Thunderbolt's good. Pillar is good. But like we're going to take a million from Pyrostatic Pillar. We have a lot of. <laughs> yeah, I think we board that in when it's relevant. Grape shot. Uh, really? No, we're not going to abuse it. Just cut it. Even if it feels like two damage though, it's still two damage for two. It's still a shock. It's still like a conditional, like a like a, a fork bolt. If, I mean, you just hold it until you have two spells. It's not like a super expensive. Bring in the molten rain. I like shard volley, but I like brew strength. Everything else seems good. It's only twelve creatures. I feel like we should have another creature, but raptor could be good. Is raptor just better than three two? No, I like the three two better. <clears throat> you can randomly steal him a lot of damage. But what if you don't? We can take Thunderbolt out, but that's, again, that's like three to the face. Why Molten Rain? Because Mike is like, destroy land. I want you to destroy land. We can also bring in Lava Axe, too, and just go real, real aggressively. Like, Shard, we can just bring in this, like. This guy's. These are probably going to be three drops in Perfect World. I think it's fine like this. I'd like another creature, though. We only have 12 creatures. It's not a lot. What about the ingot chewer? Oh, I'd rather just play the, the raptor for now. 3-4 is pretty big. So what are you going to cut? Mike's got too much caramel in his brain. Maybe that's true. I'm going to cut the molten rain. Have you ever killed a lamb before? It's super good. Or sometimes it's super terrible. But when it's good, it's good. And when it's terrible, it's terrible. Bro, we're going to win so many games off that. You well, don't even know. we're not because it's not on the deck, so... Oh, it's not? No, I took it out. Wow. How dare you. You know what this was. Stream is over. I'm pulling the plug. Wait, you're b pulling the plug? Yep. Yikes. My. Turn two grape shot into turn three juggler. That's good, right? No. Two twenty-five. Is that right? Is that the same tracking number? Oh yeah, okay. That's correct. <coughs> no. I mean his hand is still good. No. I just wanted a two drop. So happy you're streaming. Not sure if I can handle another arena standard stream. Really? Man. Man. Oh, that was a good hit. Wow, that was a great draw. That's a good bird. <coughs> and then we get to juggle or we get to 3 4? Probably 3 4. What is this thing? Enters the battlefield tapped. As long as it's not your turn, it is a 2 3 with flying. That's pretty good. Joke's on you, though. I'm going to get through. What set is this in? Dark Ascension? Is that Dark Ascension? Man, let's hit a land so we can rubble belt recluse. This guy doesn't seem very reclusive, I'll be honest. He seems pretty out there in the open. Azorius Slocket. Why would you tap this guy down, though? I don't know. That's fascinating to me. Oh, I guess because you have some sneaky sneaks? Oh. Still don't know why you wouldn't just... Fascinating. Could have just killed it. It's a bold a strategy, one. Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Yeah, they could have just blocked, right? Like, I mean... And plus, you could leave this guy untapped, and you can still do this. And you actually have an untapped land still, so this didn't even cost you... I'm confused. Let's play that big boy. Feeling okay? Oh, God. 
Guys, when you assemble IKEA furniture for like two days straight, you feel like you have arthritis. And you're like, boy, it hurts to do everything. What does it say? Enchanted, uh, Enchanted Permanent has discard two artifact cards and untap this permanent. Well, that's never getting untapped. Where my discard outlet at? All right, seems good. If we hit a land here, we can mud button. <laughs> we did. Oh, we're good at this game. What a little mud button. <laughs> Draw them crads. <clears throat> mud butt that's what Mike has <laughs> sometimes oh, that was you last night when you're like well gotta go to the bathroom now if you've been dealt damage by two or more this sounds like a law ad if you've been dealt damage by two or more creatures call the law offices of Morgan and Morgan uh, Inferno Trap thank you yep this card is yeah, you should kill that yeah we're gonna like definitely do that like right now Oh, if they make another illusion, we can grape shot both the illusions. Yeah, this is why you put grape shot on your deck, dude. They're gonna do it. Oh man, this is gas. Same target? Nah. That worked out quite well. I'm satisfied. I just crashed with everybody. Yeah, same. Like, if they want to block a token and take seven through eight, that's fine. Yeah, good deal. Apparently they did. Because they're at five. Like, this guy's basically lethal to them. If they kill this guy, they take three anyway, so. Morgan and Morgan out Florida commercials. Yes! Uh, whenever this attacks, you can return a creature with defending player controls with toughness two or less to its owner's hand. Okay. Oh, Serby boy. So we just play this guy. Even if they block the two big ones, they take a million. I forgot about that guy. Yeah, well, you'll never forget again. Probably will. So they can't block here. Oh, they have to block here, I guess, because then they take one, two, three, four. They literally have to block both these guys, which means they both die. And they take four. Which basically seals their fate because of mud butt. Oh, man, they got tricks. Return a permanent you control to its owner's hand. What do they bounce? Oh, they bounced one token. So if we just... So we can actually Avacyn's Judgment our own mud butt and Torch Runner to kill them? Seems good. I don't think we're going to have to. You got it. They're still dead to an alpha here, so... Yeah, we don't have to show them Avison's judgment. <laughs> yep, that'll do. That'll do. Oh, they're pathing something? Okay. Well, you still go to one and we have a mud butt. I don't want to show them this. I don't want to show them anything, actually. No, just fast turn. <clears throat> this is each player. Each player returns all creature cards from the graveyard <clears throat> in the hand. That's rough. So they would get back Warden of the Wall. No, that's not even a creature. Wow, that's great. So they get back Maloku, though. Maloku and Skyrock, we would get back Blade Juggler. Like, them being able to kill that guy is pretty strong. I think Americans do eat white bread more. I do like different varieties of brown bread. <laughs> do Americans eat white or brown bread more? White. 
Sure, thank you. <laughs> that was a good poll. What what kind of bread do Americans eat more? What what what's the color? Uh, how do you feel about this molten rain, man? They're like three colors, man. That is why I'm actually tempted to bring it in. It's Same the best time to bring. Actually, it in. Ingature seems good too. They had at least the uh, the two three. You're taking servers out. No, there I'm here? not. Oh, God. Like, take out this stupid twisted abomination. Five three that regenerates. Yeah, but he's like six mana. But then you just swamp cycle it. Oh my god. No, that card's busted. I'll take the Siege Mind Ogre out. You haven't even given him a chance. I haven't even given this guy... You haven't even given this guy a chance. I've seen him before. You turd. Man, put that Mole Rain in. What are you doing? What am I taking out? Tormenting Voice. We can even discard outlet, though. You cannot keep this hand. We literally don't do anything until turn five. I guess you keep that hand. Oh, that like what a little top deck there. That's actually pretty good. That's actually very good. Three mana, four, four, not bad. EOT, no less. Man, if only we had Molten Rain. <laughs> so much for Rebels is right. Well, we only had one, I think. I think we had one Rebel. <clears throat> First strike protection from black and from red. That's a good card. Seems good against us. What is it? It's Paladin on, Ve on Vec. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think we lost, boys. Thank you. I'm not dead yet. We literally have no answer to this card. So we just have to hope we fly around them or we get our cards that like need to be blocked by multiple guys. Yeah, we'll we'll get there with our one one. Oh wait, no we won't. Why? Because it's a one one. Yeah, but it's only like I mean they just played a two. Oh three yeah, okay, so. that's a good reason not to. Pro white, huh? Ah, yeah. Yeah? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Why attack? Because it has trample. It does? What's wrong with you? Yeah, they still take two. Got him. This hand is mud, but I watched any frequent as on YouTube never managed to get just really? And it's Jeff, and I also appreciate being sub, man. Thank you so much, dude. Ooh, oh god the first three plays are paladon vec skymark rock and friggin maloku come on unbelievable i like how they drafted a full art land <laughs> <laughs> oh jesus all right we're just gonna go to the next game i can't beat this board this is ridiculous all right now we're gonna that molten rain because this three mana, mm. these three different lands are not okay. Yeah, now he adds it. Mm -hmm. oh, shut Typical. The hell. Also, Typical. Thunderbolt kills Maloku and the the Skymark Rock, which is just more than enough. What do we take out for that thing now? God, we really have no answer to that. I don't think we really need Ingot Chewer. Yeah, I think you're right. I lost this guy as well. They're just mono bombs, questionable plays, the deck. Yeah, that that's what I've noticed, actually. I will play first. I'm going to keep this hand because if we draw a red source, we're good to go. Whoa, that looks crazy. Yeah, it's a good looking cover. And we still have an assassinate, so... Boom, 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 boom. Oh, Flame Tendrils. Dang it. The card we didn't board in. It just doesn't do much against the rest of their cards, though. Like, it doesn't do much against Maloku or Rock or... Red. Another black. Sounds good. Sounds good. I think we're 9-8, so this is 50% uh, of our swamps. <laughs> Full our planes is back. Oh, boy. 
Yeah, that's fine. All right. Oh, thank goodness. We nailed it. Did we? You know we did. I'm not so sure. You know that it's true. Don't play Skymark Rock this turn. That's all. Oh, a 3-5 wall. The flying. That was actually okay. <clears throat> you okay? How do we beat that? I don't know. It's never going to tap, so we can't assassinate it. This guy can actually attack through it. What card is behind Mike's back? Um, assassinate. It's trying to get me. <laughs> there's an, you might say there's an assassin behind Mike's back. That is that is appropriate. I agree. Actually, maybe it's better to just play Defender of Chaos here because it actually attacks for two, whereas the Reckless Worm doesn't do anything. Kill this, but we actually don't. Oh, actually, I guess that's fine, right? No, because they still they still trade. Trading is fine. I don't really want to trade a two for one for their wall. You get tokens. No, you don't. You only get that when it's actually that's a trigger. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you create two one ones and sacrifice it. Right, and you just trample. Oh no, it'd be five. Yeah, it'd yeah, be a five okay. three. So like they trade exactly. <laughs> sure. It's so weird. Why spend that on two damage? I don't know. I don't know. Beautiful. Mike, where the green hood? <laughs> Mike's whole life is a green hood. I guess I could. Mike, where the green hood? I guess I could. 3-4 flyer? Don't care about that. Actually, this guy with a brute strength is where you want to be. So if they double block, presumably, we brute strength, so it's a seven, so it's not killing both. You could wait and EOT play anger, then untap and brute strength it. We're stuck with both of these guys. Okay, that actually seems fine. And I definitely think this is a brute strength. If we unfavorable, uncontrollable anger, like we just lose this, they just bounce. I mean, it's a two for one, but that's a three, four flyer, so. They have five cards in hand? Are they all like red cards or what's going on here? I feel bad about this. Whoa, they're just not blocking? Okay. I don't understand the point of having a defender if you're not going to block, but... They have eight cards in hand now? What's going on? See beyond. Sure. I don't know what's going on. This is all very strange to me. feels fine. I 
I don't know what's going on here. I feel like they just have some kind of tricky, ridiculous card, and it's just like... Okay, they're just cycling that. They just have lands in hand? That's not possible, right? It's turn 9, 4, 5, 6, 7. They've missed a land drop. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm very confused. Shuttle wreckage? God, that'd be brutal. I mean, I don't know what to do. Like, sure. Four damage. Okay. So they trade. You're at two. And we have bomber in the graveyard and a bunch of power on board. I don't actually understand. What am I looking at here? Is it Talpa? So you're just dead? What in the fuck? What is this game? <laughs> okay, sure. Um, yeah, alright. This is the weirdest game ever. Even if they block here, like, they still take three and they're dead. Like, they're dead on so many metrics. Yeah, Prophetic Bolt into Zatalpa. Like, towards their own guy, maybe? Deals one damage to these attacking creature. Okay, sure. Oh, that would have been great, actually. Wow, they block here with Zatalpa. The first, the double strike kills this. We take one. Had a Holy Day and Reign of Blades in hand. Wow, that would have been insane. Yeah, we played this guy. That does make sense then. Wow. Oh well. Our deck is still sweet. Marco. My Marco. His name is my Marco. Well, my name is Bobby Butters. Thank you very much. You're goddamn right. <laughs> is that your Walter White? Is that your, your Bobby You're goddamn Bobby? right. God, I want to watch that show again. How many times will that be? It would probably be my sixth or seventh viewing. Oh my god. It show's amazing, man. I mean, it's good, but... It's so good. I don't know if you need to watch it seven times. It just has so many good moments. Oh yeah, if they played Rain of Blades, it would have definitely been a huge blowout. Remember that time that cat knocked over that trash? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I remember every time the cat knocks over anything. Because I usually have to clean it up and I'm like, God damn it, cat. He's such a little dirt burger. Turkey, turkey time. Assassinate doesn't feel like it would have been that good against the dino. I'm not sure if it's the indestructibility or the vigilance that really gives me that impression, but it's definitely one of them. Do I want a tormenting voice here and discard a card just to, like, hit lands? Probably. I mean, I hate giving up a discard outlet, but what are we getting rid of here? Siege Mind over? Ogre? I'd get rid of the plus two, plus two thing. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, feels feels better. <clears throat> I mean, if we can't land, land. We got... Okay, Jousting Lance, and that's fine. We didn't hit another land. I guess if we don't hit lands for a couple turns, we can just Reckless Worm at, at, my, at Madness. <clears throat> wow. It's not really where I want to be with my life, but it is, it is an option for us. Look at that little scouty boy. Attempt to just kill this. I'm just gonna play a guy. Worst, worst case, you don't hit lands and discard a worm. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I'll choose them. 
Whoa! We just hit him. We just no, we lava axed him. That's fantastic. Bam! Got him. That's a real. That's a nuggerino right there, my dudes. Man, five damage. Oof. How is the addition of guilds allegiance? I have no idea. It's really hard to say because like, you have such a small pool of experience right like sometimes the cards never show up sometimes you don't open those packs it's like it's like saying like it's like if i had a cube and i added like five cards to the cube from the new sets and people are like how are the new cards working out it's like sometimes it's harder actually that'd probably be easier to tell because everyone always drafts those but i don't know i haven't really noticed a, a huge difference with the additions of those sets Oh, just the main phase draw two. I like it. Got to get them prowess trigs, boy. Okay, well, I was really hoping for a land here, but... <laughs> Can you guys hear that? He's so loud, man. He's so loud. I guess we just play this guy. I don't think I care about killing this guy, and if you play this guy, we can... Yeah, it's the only guy we can play, right? Is that Bobby Butter's mom? Yeah, that's... <laughs> She's a really a cat. Mow. This is Bobby Butter's. My mother is a cat. What if this card dealt them damage equal to the cost, casting cost, and it also said whenever they cast that spell, it deals them damage again to the casting cost. So they take, like, ten. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. They're just going to play it now. This is nice. So we can actually... They're never blocking here. But if they actually block here, we can just shoot both of these guys. Oh, that's a blowout, if I ever heard of one. Believe it or not, I have heard of one. Land. Oh, thank goodness. Thank Jeebus. Jeebus can't save you now. <laughs> yeah, I know. But boy, if he could... I mean, those they're not just taking four. They can't take four here, right? Or can they? I don't think so, man. They could. They could go to eight. But then we got so many beefy boys in hand. <laughs> He's having a good time. They're definitely taking four. Oh my god. I hate that we don't get to do anything else, but whatever. <coughs> Keep it down. What more do you want? I want to be able to play a creature so I don't just have a 1-1 one -one on board. <laughs> Hashtag little man. <laughs> wow, I didn't know there was a little man command. That's hilarious. Well, just added it. Oh, that's a good one then. God, he's so loud. Uh, this is a Benchmade knife. I actually got a YouTube comment. Someone was like, hey, I have the exact same Benchmade knife. Good choice. It's, uh, it's very nice. Which is why it was pricey. Okay, so what they're, why are they, they're not equipping again? This is very strange. Everything that's happening is very strange. Must be a bane of the living. <laughs> was like a cost to flip x black black well they didn't they didn't got one black up yeah so. i know i just wanted to say it i feel like i just wanted to make a bane of the living reference that's a good reference though oh my god little man command <laughs> that's hilarious to me yeah i guess we're just gonna kill this dude right Unless you're a baller and you snug him in the face and don't care. I'm not. Chump. You just call me a chump? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. 
that's not a knife, that's a spoon. All right, all right. I see you've played Knifey Spoonie before. You know what that's from? No. The Simpsons. Just lost to Ashiot. The chaos is not going well. Oh my god. Gomlet, Jesus. Um, yeah, all right. See what happens, I guess. It was a Void Mage Apprentice when it turned up a counter target spell. Okay. Well, now I just got to slam a 5 4. 6 5. I don't even have a 5 4 in my hand. I mean, they're going to counter this, I'm sure. That's why they didn't equip. However, that's fine. I wonder how much how much knife play I can get around with on the stream without before Twitch terms of service kick in. <laughs> what a game. What is this? Seven damage right here? This is a black creature. They're playing black. The odds of them being able to kill this is, seems low, and we also get to draw three guys. They get to draw three. So it's we both draw three if they kill this, right? I guess it does depend on what I mean by play. That's a good that's a that's a good distinction. <laughs> oh my god. There's your false cure. So we can just attack with this and then deal them seven when they're dead. I hope they play two creatures that can't block and tap out. This guy got lifelink? No, it just can't be blocked. Okay. That's fine. I accept all of these things. Time ebb. Seems good. I don't know what, what took that so long. This is three, four, five, six, seven. I play my guy. There are many stream memes here concerning Mike, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, that's I you have no idea. You mean I think you mean Bobby Butters? <laughs> Oh my god. Right, Bobby? Knife play isn't even a Joy Division song. That's true. Should it be? Let's make it one. Are you picking your nose? Maybe. How's that going for you? It's alright. Okay. <clears throat> you okay? No. I'm just checking on you, man. I'm just trying to be your friend. Sometimes you need a friend. That's it. Okay. Okay, so they did equip. Do we just play this guy and hope they don't have anything else? Because, like, we're not going to do anything. We can actually assassinate this guy, but then we still don't play anything else. So. Underworld Cerberus it is, I guess. And then we hope to hit a land. Deal them seven to the dome. To the dome piece. And kill him. I only have three cards. Crack shot, maybe? I don't know. Actually, I can look at my... I can look at my game history. I like that they don't have the new ones at the top. They have the old ones. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, it was... Uh, I, I was 0-2. And that was around uh, an hour and 40 minutes ago. You doing okay? 
Was that I think enough? I'll live. You okay? Did it go to my spine? God, I, could, I should hope so. I should hope so. Oh, yeah, the Grizzly Fate. Yeah, yeah. Your deck was insane. We also misplayed. Uh, can't be blocked, sure. Well, let's see if we got it. We need a land. We need a land. Okay, bring it. Bring it. Do we just hope they don't have a counterspell? This is it, man. This is it. We can assassinate this guy. And this guy could potentially kill us. So I think we actually have to go all in. We can't actually... Yeah, there's a pretty high chance that the flip has at least one more power. Right, or they could just equip this even. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't even think about that, so... Oh, my goodness! Got him with the burns! When his turn face up, return a non-creature, non-land card from your graveyard to your hand. Wow, so I could just return time ebb. Wow. Got him. Totally got him. Totes got him. This is a 5 minute 2 1? I thought this guy was like a 3 3 or something. Was this only a 2 1? Get out of here. I could bring in. We can bring an Ingot Chewer again because of the stupid Jousting Lance or whatever. That card's actually very good. You can take out Defender of Chaos. Defender of Chaos? Is that what it's called? What a maniac. Oh, no. I don't think this is going to do it. <coughs> Actually, maybe. Oh, Swamp Cycler. Is there one land on top? You don't who know. Knows? What? I said, who knows? Some people know. <coughs> Some people know, Michael. I ay ay. Bold strategy. No gamble, no future. That's what I always say. We're good at this game. Apparently. <gasps> you forgot this. <laughs> <laughs> We're good at this game. Pro proceeding to uh, forget to play your putrid him. All right, seems good. Well, you have no two drops, so you didn't get punished. Oh, thankfully. Whew. Do they trade Welkin turn with uh, Petrium next turn? <laughs> I'm good at this game because I drew the land. Proceeds to make a strategical misplay. Solid. Whoo, good times. Every time I hear cars honk out here, I always assume there's going to be a huge jazz accident. Because there's been like three or four on this road since I've moved in. Hmm. I'll tell you what. I'll risk it for the biscuit. If you want to trade, wow, you don't want to trade well, good turn. I had some guy to completely pull out of a driveway out of nowhere on me today when I was going to get Starbucks. Luckily, I avoided it. That's good. That seems like a solid choice. Yeah, the difference is when I top the Pro Tour, I didn't have a friend talking to me right next to me. I also didn't have a screen with chat on it. And I also wasn't... Uh, trying to be entertaining so it was a little bit different just a little bit just little bits little bits so this guy is unlikely to be blocked at any point in time if you were dealt more damage by two or more creatures this turn oh this is great because we can play bomber and then kill the bandit that's pretty sweet Surely we would be helpful at a Pro Tour. Yeah, I can't imagine you guys not being extremely useful at a Pro Tour. <clears throat> Alright, I'm game. 
Do you just block the welcome turn if they attack? No, they don't. So, oh, they only attack with one creature too? My god. Come on. I do like a brute strength here. That's pretty nice. All right. Yeah, Banefire is almost like a strictly better fireball most of the time. This could be bad. Yep, yeah, it's going to be blowout. Yeah, it's on blowout, I guess. One good welcome turn deserves another, if you know what thank I mean. Thank you. Nope. You don't know what I mean? No idea. I understand. Judge MK, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. One year. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Do I want Tormenty voice here? I mean, they traded a cancel for a... Where'd my... Oh, they traded a cancel for a brute strength. I don't think that's terrible. dead. Hmm. Well, they have seven on board, which is pretty scary. I hate that we can only use this. We can only, we can only play this, basically. Whatever. Gotta do it. Three, four, five, six. Now this card's a problem. The next sub goal? I actually don't know. That's a good question. I'll have to reset it. All right. I think we don't run voice now. I think we have to, or else we're dead. <laughs> um, get rid of Raptor. Now they're dead. I think. Man, Lightning Blast is a hell of a card. Do they have a counter spell? Let's find out, I guess. Wow, this Lightning Blast has been like MVP these games. Our deck is pretty good. <clears throat> I don't like how you can't complain to your opponent on Arena like, say, nice top deck Lux Sack, or I only lose to Scrimmage. <laughs> yeah, that's like, that's probably one of my biggest complaints. Sometimes I want to be like, way to go, Lux Sack noob. If I didn't draw all these lands, you would have never won. I wish I could just say those things to my opponent. That's really what I'm, what I'm here for. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> nice cards, butt munch. Oh man, I should make a t-shirt that says nice cards butt munch with the space between the T and the T. What a classic meme. I wish I remember who said that. Because despite that guy being a total... Eh, whatever, a total whatever, like... He, he really created a classic meme for the stream. And I think I really owe him for that. Yeah, I'll keep this in. though? Butt munch? Yeah. I think he paid the price that he owed you. That's fair. That's fair, actually. The price that... You owed him. No, uh, he, I don't know. he owed me for calling me butt munch, and the 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 cost Is the was meme. that I get the meme, yeah. right? Yeah. So I think you're good. Yeah, I guess we broke even. <clears throat> Man, 
That was that was that was meta. How about a thanks button? They don't have that. I mean, what do you say when your opponent says nice? Or when your opponent makes a misplay, then you could say thanks. We're playing Hawksor. You guys know Hawksor, right? I think emotes in all games, like Arena and Hearthstone, I think emotes in all of those games always seem always seem sarcastic, right? I've never seen someone say nice play and not thought it was like them just being a dick, right? Right. Hey man, nice play. Also real life no one says nice play. Right. No one's like you know, I've never sat across a game at a at like a magic store and like my opponent I'll play something and my opponent's like, Hey man, nice play. Even if they said that I would be like uh, thanks. You're clearly being a dick. I'm the slowest at making clips, but I made one. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Oh my god, this is great. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> no, bold strategy. no gamble, no future. That's what I always say. We're good at this game. Apparently. <gasps> you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> the speed with which I realized I forgot to play it is actually hilarious. I'm like, oh, I made a terrible mistake. I got so excited that I drew that swamp that I couldn't actually contain it. I was just like, well, now I... <laughs> and then I... It, like, it was compounded by the fact that I said, wow, I'm so good at this game. Right before that. I just feel like whenever you say you're good at something, that's when something bad goes wrong. Yeah, because you, you that's it. You let your guard down. And the universe is also taunting you. Is my opponent gonna... What's happening right now? I had to slosh through snow to get to work, and now it's le now leaving. It's pouring rain. Wow. Unfortunately, it is 82 degrees currently. So, oh, it's 81. It went down a degree. Ooh, thank goodness. It is 81 and sunny here. 81 and sunny is what? No, man, we're going to get buffalo buffalo cauliflower bites, my dude. My Nate. You know what card is good against this guy? I guess you could do that. I mean, it's one for one. This card's actually really obnoxious, though. I'll pass for now. I'm not super... Uh... What if he plays a one drop? Oh, never mind. Played something with one toughness, and you just got to get them both. Oh, grape shot's a sorcery. Never mind. You're a you're a sorcery, you stupid magic. See, but here's the thing: like they could just is this prevent all damage that would be dealt to and dealt. See, they just force us to block here, and that's that's not that's not bueno. That's not bueno. <laughs> it is not bueno. So, like, it just makes all of your X1s, like, real bad. What is a Majich? Is that, <laughs> did you say Majich? Did I? You don't know. I don't know, man. You probably blacked I out. you said it. Uh, I probably did, I guess. I gotta blow my nose. You do? Yeah. You want a tissue? There's some right in front of you. Oh, huh. That's a slow pull you're doing there. Uh, no attacks. It's really hard to, to, to convince yourself that Petrodim does not naturally have flying. Look at this. Look at this deck is molten rainable for sure, dude. Yeah, well, you'll never bring it in, so. I will. I'll bring it in just for you, my dude. Don't mana leak me, bro. Oh my god, are you serious? So far I've gotten Remove Sold and Essence Scattered in this draft. <sighs> yeah, Mike is my... Oh my god. 
Thankfully we have Thunderbolt, I guess. Thunder. Mike just picking his nose on stream? Sorta. Of. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do, my dude. Gotta take care of those boogies. <clears throat> this is a hell of a board that they got here. Oh wow, I haven't been paying attention for the last couple seconds. We're uh, looks like we're losing. Oh no, man, we're good. Yeah, we, we got this. Okay, I trust you. I appreciate your trust. Oh God, he's got a lot of tutus. <laughs> he has one tutu. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay, well. He's also got a 2-3. No. He does. See? Now it's 3 four. Sure. I really appreciate these updates you're giving, man. This is nice. Mike, can you chew ice and get boogies at the same time? Um, I guess I could have. <laughs> get boogies. Oh, man. Are they ever going to attack with their mana gargoyle? The world may never know. Never, ever, <laughs> ever had a friend like me. Do, 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 do. You know that song? That's from Aladdin. Can you can you not wait until Will Smith has to sing that? Oh God, I don't know how I feel about it. Like I love Will Smith. Don't get me wrong, but but no, <laughs> the CGI no. genie is just really throwing me it's for a loop, man. It's so cringe. If they reanimated it and did a CGI, like it just had me having the voice of it, I'd be like, yeah, totally. That's cool. <clears throat> But I feel like that CGI genie is like, oh my god. Actually, I don't think I care about that that much. You gonna be at MFR in Cleveland this weekend? No, no, I'm definitely not gonna be there. So here's the thing we can do. They have one card. We can actually uncontrolled anger to block this guy next turn. And then we can just start attacking for three in the air. Nope, now they have eight for this guy. But then we can just assassinate this guy. So actually... Nice. That's a big boy. <coughs> Doesn't get trampled, though. Oh, wow, this is aggressive. So three three block you. Can it not block? What about the enchantment? No, it just says attacks each combat of fable. It doesn't have flying. Ah, oh, that's what it is. That's fine, we'll block here. <laughs> it's not a big deal. I see I told you, I literally just had a conversation where I'm like, it takes a lot to convince myself that this guy cannot block fly doesn't have flying and then here we are where it does not have flying it's actually tapped out oh we're actually going to shoot we'll shoot this guy this is actually kind of a blowout I have like a 10 drop in hand. Bonds of Faith? Great. Well, that's going on this guy, I'm sure. Oh, this guy has to attack. Yeah, we were going to attack with him anyway, but... Alright. You going to assassinate? <sighs> no. Because if they play Bonds of Faith, they can't also pump this guy, so we don't care. And if they do pump this guy, that's fine. I'll just block. I'll just jump it. But I want to keep this up because if they do choose Bonds of Fate and attack with Manor Gargoyle, then we can actually Thunderbolt it. This feels like it's almost too aggressive. 
of of like keeping mana gargoyle back. Boy, that is something in it. Pretty good draw. Their deck is pretty good. Pretty good deck is more like it. Even if we kill this, they just give this flying and they can block here. We got four cards in our graveyard. <laughs> oh boy. One, two, so six, seven, eight. We have three, four, five, six, seven. We can actually play all of these things. See, this is interesting because it leaves them with only Mana Gargoyle on board. And if we attack with this guy and then we pump it, it becomes a 4-4. Four, four. And then we brute strength it, which actually lets it survive. I actually don't feel like we're in terrible shape here. This is interesting. How good is Anger of the Gods in Modern? Really good. Very, very good. It's the most goodest ever. The most goodest ever. Yep. Four, five, six. Sure, that's fine. I'm surprised you didn't put on the other guy, but. Please block with this guy. Oh my god, yes. This is the moment. This is the moment. That's 7-5, good buddy. And now we are ahead. With a 4-4. This is like the strongest putrid imp that's ever existed. Just draw nothing. We too shall draw nothing. It's very good. So now we take 4 and then we're dead if we only draw like... We have to just draw like... They have to draw nothing and we have to draw burn again. <laughs> Ugh. How he works so hard too. To deal with like Sarah Angel, Manor Gargoyle, Stonewood Invoker, and Mara. Oh, a flyer. God, we're so close, dude. <laughs> oh man. If they didn't have that, we could kill the other two, two, go to one. We're still not dead, though, actually. Because they kind of have to block here, right? I forgot about that. Not having flying again. Wow, this card not having flying is just the worst ever. Okay, well. Threshold is 7 for all cards. Oh, it's Threshold. It gets plus 1, plus 1, and can't block. Okay, so we would have drawn, we would have drawn Swamp anyway, so not the biggest deal. Molten Rain, definitely coming in. Do you keep cards in Chaos Draft? No. Defender of Chaos seems like poop. I think we're fine like this. <clears throat> Chocolate rain. 
Some stay dry while Michael feels the pain. Chocolate rain. Oh, I'll keep this hand for sure. Chocolate rain. Uh, you get play points. So you get like, if you go 1, 2, you get 40 play points. If you go 2, 1, you get 100 play points. And if you 3, 0, you get 150 play points. So you're basically playing to just replay the, like to, to draft again. Look at this. First turn future imp. Like we know how to do it. Yeah, I don't know. This card, thinking this card has flying is like, it's, I've, I've, I've made the mistake like three times last game. It's so hard to like wrap your head around it. It only needs flying when you discard, right? Yeah. So we could have actually discarded the mountain given flying. They might block with 2-2 two, two, and then we actually have another turn. But then we're just, we knew we were just drawing a swamp, so. Actually, I'm going to play this now. Because they have, they've shown us Essence Scatter, Remove Soul, whatever, so. I'd rather just play around it. Oh, alright. See? That's all I gotta do. Play the Reckless Worm on turn three and you're, you're good to go. Good game. Good, good game. But it was not GG's, it was BG's. Yep, I'll keep this one too. Seems good. Future Imp every game. This is where our opponent's like, well, it must be dice every game. And I'm like, it's fine. It's just a Future Imp, my dude. I'm a Nate. Yeah, I'm really hoping they attack here. Sure. Can you imagine if they just attacked? Oh my god, that would have been gas. Kind of a tormenting voice here, discard. Okay. Hey, you remembered. Yeah. Wow, that was the instant speed. <laughs> you got it. Oh, that was a good hit. Now we get something to do this turn. Or we can actually... Eh, that's sorcery, so we're not going to do that. Sure. This is so weird that we... This is the second time we've played against an opponent. You just like... Negative three, negative four are things. An island. Unfortunate. Sometimes you just nug. Did you bring in Molten Rain? We did. We did. Being able to kill this plane seems like it could be very, very good. Yep. They reveal a dragon. What are the odds they have a counter spell? Hmm. Thousand percent, you think? Yeah, probably. an onboard trick. I thought it was attacking or blocking creature. Well, you can flash it back. It's true, I guess. It seems really bad. Yeah, but I mean, it's like it's a sorcery, so like we're not going to really get a chance to really take advantage of that, unfortunately. What is even happening right now? Thank you. Unseen Spectre, welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Almost two years in a row. Wow. Jesus. This deck, dude. 
And they kept it on top, so it's either Mana Gargoyle or uh, probably just Mana Gargoyle. I don't think it would be a Sarah Angel when they don't have Double White. Oh, that's interesting. Can you divide it? Among those permanents or players instead. Wow, that's pretty good. I almost have to just play this guy right now. But they probably have they they probably have essence scatter, right? Maybe. I can really tell to go three and one here, because I think that's very, very good. Okay, well, it actually feels like they have six there, so maybe they don't have anything. Cassius, enjoy your test, buddy. Not enjoy, but like, kill it, do well. Draw three cards and discard a card. That is pretty good. Now we're definitely gonna just slam this dude. Well, they have four cards, so it's pretty good. Oh, claustrophobia. A classic. Is it though? Mm. Okay, that's actually nice. Whoa, it was a big boy. Oh, yeah. Good thing that didn't flip. Well, that is unfortunate. Jesus. What is this deck, dude? Mono draw threes. Yeah, that's fine. There's no more point attacking because they just give it prevent all things. All right. Sure. Okay, so this is actually nice because we can go Dire Fleet into Kill This. And then they have one card in hand. So nine turns and we got this game. That's all. Sure. No, sir, I don't like it. Probably blocking. Okay, we our nine turn clock is no longer valid. Every card in their deck draws them a card. They've drawn five extra, <laughs> there it is. There's your boy. I mean, you gotta go for it, right, so. Happy birthday, Mike! And I forgot to get him a card. That's okay. Yep, and then they play this, and we play Torch Runner, they tap the Torch Runner, they attack us for three. All right. Uh, our deck was very, very good. However, so was theirs. So I'm okay with that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just going to end the video. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. The link are in, links are in the description below. And you can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And uh, what, what else can I say? Super comfortable micromodal fabric. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.